well. Hello to humans, these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough to be doing it to. I'm Bushka, and this is Miramar, and I'm making a map video. Well, not so much a map video, but a video speaking to the needs of the humans who aren't really getting down and jiggy with Miramar, who don't find it to be their jam, who aren't really interested in this map. And I know there's a lot of you, because there's so many people, when you go to random, that pick Erangale and not Miramar. And there are various reasons for this. And I've talked to my mates and I've talked to some of the people that I regularly run with who don't like this map. And the overwhelming uh, response is that it's just a really tough map to play. And I, I looked into this and I, I dug a little bit deeper. And I think one of the big issues that people have with this map is this, just the sheer size of the engagement area and the fact that there is no grass. And I mean, you're trained by Aaron Gale to run a specific style of gameplay where you're gonna go in the grass, uh, you're gonna run around the place and then dive down, not move while you're prone and pick up wins that way. And it doesn't work here. When you get wins in Miramar, you win them on your feet, okay? You get a chicken dinner, you get that chicken dinner while you are on your feet. You do not get that chicken dinner lying down in the grass waiting for the circle to come to you and being really, really passive. You've got to go and hunt down your wins on Miramar. And I think for that reason, it's my favorite map by miles. Like it's, for me, it's so much more engaging and so much more, it resonates so much more with the play style that I want to be known for. But I digress. Let's get back to how you can fix this. Uh, firstly, I'm running a UMP in this, and you can see a UMP is a whole hell of a lot of love over short ranges against even up to multiple targets because it's got a very, very high rate of fire and it's got a very low recoil firing a nine millimeter shell that's quite slow. Why is that important? Well, it's perfect for these situations. House to house brawling, multiple targets, uh, quick shots, it's ideal. But I've had to carry this thing around the entire game. And up until now, I'll be honest, it's been somewhat of a liability. And the guys in my team who've had the ARs, like the AKMs and the M416s, have really done well. Look how many shots just go straight onto target with this thing. It's crazy. It's brilliant. But it's not the kind of gun you want to be running. And then we touch on something else. People run guns with... Well, for, for lack of a better word, the wrong attachments. Uh, especially when you're looking at a squad situation. What do I mean by that? Well, for, before I get too deep and too far down the rabbit hole, let's have a look at Erangale. This is your typical Erangale final circle. We're in a wheat field. Myself and Goon over there are running pretty hot and heavy. And we've done seven kills. Uh, it's a squad match. There's only two of us left. And we've had to come in and approach over quite a wide open bit of terrain. But we've been able to do that pretty successfully because if you lie down in a wheat field, you suddenly become invisible. And this is what I mean by in Erangale, you can win your games without moving. The man that stands up is the man that gets absolutely lit up. And you're going to see in just a second, there's going to be a guy pop on my left and he's going to run and... That's suicidal in this smaller final circle. You are literally the only target around and there is no cover. The only thing you can do is lie down because if you don't lie down, the other guys lying down will shoot you. This is why I really do say that on Miramar, you win your chicken dinner standing up and on Erangale, you win them lying down. And it's very much an analogy for the way the game's played on the two maps. Now let's get back to talking about the attachments. If you're on Erangale and you're lying down in that grass, you don't want people to see you. And the thing that will give you away is your muzzle flash or even the noise that your gun makes when you fire. So everyone lusts after the suppressor. The suppressor is where it's at. You get your M416 or your AKM or whatever it is and you're fully kitted out. But that's wrong. If you are on Erangale, you want the suppressor. If you are on Miramar, you want an AR, with a compensator. And then as your secondary weapon, you want a designated marksman rifle, uh, like a, uh, a Mini-14 or an SKS. And that gives you the ability to reach out and touch at both 
short, medium, and long range. ARs, let's face it, are severely OP. They're amazing. And then you get bolt actions like the Car 98, which is your only world drop bolt action rifle. And that's even better for your long range sniping, in my opinion anyway. But all three of those bottom rung weapons will work. And you want to run the compensator because the compensator helps you to hit your target. The suppressor doesn't really do that much towards hitting your target. Like there, I'm winning my chicken dinner, I'm winning it, standing up, firing, dueling with an enemy, using ridges, cover, and tactics. That's how it should be. And here I'm running a car 98 into final circle. Again, weapon choice is so important, but suppressors really aren't the be all and end all on this map. The map is so wide open and so bare that if you are firing, people are gonna figure out where you're at. And if you're not able to see them, it's, you know, the suppressor might help, but if you're using an AR, look, the basic rule of thumb is, if you're gonna be using these guns at long ranges and medium to long ranges, use the things that help the gun hit the most. Now let's move on to the terrain. This is the kind of situation you're gonna find yourself in all the time. I'll show you a little snippet. I got no vest left. <laughs> We're running across the open ground. We're in a bowl and everyone else has a sniper rifle. Okay. We should have went for that buggy, mate, just to get some distance between us. Yeah, as is saying, we should have gone for the buggy, and he's dead on. This is the other thing that people fall all over themselves when they first start playing Miramara with regard to. Vehicles are a much bigger part of life here. On Erangel, you can just run it in, you know, you can run it in, you can use the trees as cover, you can get all over the place without taking a whole hell of a lot in terms of negativity uh, from not using a car. This map, it's ridiculous. You can turn around, get stuck into a firefight, have to disengage, and you are 1,500 metres from the zone line with, you know, a minute to get there. And that happens with regularity. And you're also running in across exceptionally wide open areas. So you've got to be able to get a hold of a buggy and get to those zone lines ASAP. You can see here, I'm running this buggy all the way up across the map. And what I'm gonna do is basically skip this massive wide open valley, get all the way across to the other side of the ridges, and I'll win the chicken dinner. If I had been on foot, I would have been torn apart. That's the valley I just crossed. The zone line is coming in. There's seven guys left. I'm up the top. This poor bugger got stuck running it in on foot. I went past him earlier. Um, predictably, he's not going to have a good day. You've got to use vehicles. You've got to get past the stigma that using a vehicle is a bad thing. And I know because I get upset sometimes on Erangale when Snake jumps in a vehicle and starts driving away when there's absolutely no need for it. And giving a vehicle, uh, any vehicle noise just lets people know where you are. So that's, that's three things we've talked about. One is weapon choice. Two is the attachments you're using. Um, and just on the attachments too, get scopes. Whatever you run, make sure that one of the weapons is... I mean, look at this. I'm shooting at a guy that's 250, 300 meters away. There's another guy just down the hill here. And this is only with seven guys left. And the circle is still like... There is 300 and 400 meters worth of, of terrain in this circle. And we're still using, I mean, we're using car 98s. We're using the scoped M416. And this is my point. You've got to have some optics. If you don't have optics more than anything else, you are going to fall apart on this map. Because when you are getting towards final circle, if you don't have optics, you're going to get wrecked. Now, this, of course, all goes by the wayside if you pick up something crazy like an AWM. If you get an AWM, you just use the AWM and everything else works. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I really wanted to make it because I feel like so many people don't give this map the credit it's due. And a lot of that is just the fact that they don't run it properly. They don't they don't play it with any degree of consistency. I mean, if you've got an AWM, <laughs> just run the AWM. It works really well. Hey, um, even at close ranges, you want to run that AWM.
Uh, it's a great big equalizer. And uh, yeah, that's it. Remember, guys, Miramar, it's where you win your chicken dinners standing up. I'm Bushka. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I'll be sticking around all week. Look after yourselves. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the videos. Share it if you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, until next time, stay safe on the battlefield.